Now in her new movie, Maudie, she joins us live with more on this new film. Good morning, Sally. Hi, good morning. Thank you for speaking with me. Well, thanks for being on Good Day this morning. So this movie is based on the part Not of the too. life of uh, Maude Lewis, who was a Canadian folk artist. And this movie, mm -hmm. as I understand, takes place in that part of her life where that artist in her begins to evolve, but under kind of unusual circumstances. Kind yeah. of take us through the story somewhat. Yeah, that that's right. And it's um, uh, she um, so obviously she existed, and she's a, a real life person and um, a true story. Uh, but she she had a lot to deal with um, throughout all her life from very early on. She was um, uh, she's this extraordinary. A debilitating condition, juvenile arthritis that gets progressively worse as you age, and um, to varying degrees depending on on the person. Um, yet, despite all that and what she was dealing with, and being written off by her family, um, who sort of almost wanted to keep her um, um, cosseted, I suppose she she fought very hard to be free. In order to um, to do her art, and I, I don't think she had any idea that her art would necessarily um, um, uh, do well in the world. I don't think she was looking for that. She just wanted to, in her small world, a uh, paint, yeah. and then she would. Um, yeah, she 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 was an extraordinary person and dealing with um, a lot. Um, I guess um, she was. My goodness. Physical. Physical, yeah. And yeah. Sally, yeah. It, it's, it's, it's more than just the art. We also get to find this wonderful love story between Ethan Hawkins, that you're, your other lead actor in the film. And meanwhile, mm -hmm. both of you are sort of discovering yourselves. You're both kind of closed off people. Yeah, I, I think that's right. I think um, they both, um, it's a quite an unusual love story. And, um, and Ethan is extraordinary. And I feel very blessed to have worked with him. And... He's uh, that it's a it should be called Morden Ev really <laughs> um, because it's such a two hander yeah. and they he enabled her to do her art yeah. he brought her up you know the, um, towards the end of her life he was he he knew that that it was a a really powerful thing that she had this extraordinary ability and she couldn't have. She couldn't have. She wouldn't have been happy, and w she wouldn't have had that freedom if it wasn't for Ev. Um, and I, I think it's a difficult relationship, and love is never easy. And I think it really represents that well. Um, and it wasn't unusual for a relationship, uh, or or for women to be dismissed at that time, oh, sure. uh, and to be. But she changed him as much as he changed her, and. Um, it's about the transformative power of love, right. but also about the transformative power of art. I want, and they didn't have much, you know, they lived in this tiny hut on the side of a road with no insulation in extreme weather conditions. And yet um, they have, she had this extraordinary legacy, which she, she just, this amazing production line. And by the end of her life, this hut, this tiny fisherman's hut that she lived in for the best part of 30 years with um, this incredible disability that she was dealing with. By the end of it, her, this hut was transformed into her masterpiece. Oh. And you can see it in reality. It exists in Nova Scotia and Halifax and I want to where show they restored the real house. Real quick, I just yeah, want to show uh, one of her paintings here. That what's so beautiful is so simple, and yeah. it's just uh, it's just yeah. a folk art. When you describe as a folk yeah. artist, this is what she painted. Yeah. It's one of her simple, simple paintings. Just uh, it's just a, a boat on water with seagulls and a lighthouse in the background, and it's just Americana. We would call oh, yeah. it, even though she's not from here. But uh, it's just that kind, that style of painting that is so it's, beloved here. Yeah, it's just lovely. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Her artwork is extraordinary. You can't not look at it and not want to look at it. You want to learn learn more, mm. and um, also it makes you smile. Uh, yeah, she it does. put that landscape that she was grew up with in her art, and yeah, art makes you happy. Yes, and um, she was yeah. a genius, no doubt about it. She was on um, on un, you know folk art. I don't really understand the term because it's just uneducated she, she just didn't have an education in or you know formally trained but she was she was 
a genius. It's lovely. And, it's um, beautiful. So yes, it's yeah. It's, it's a beautiful Thank you. style. I hope more people see her. Up. I hope so yeah. too. Thank you Thank for you, joining us uh, on Good Day, and the movie is playing here in Sacramento, and we'll let people know it's at the Tower. Yeah. I know that. We've got the Tower Theater and Century Roseville uh, 14. And by the way, you can get out and see it today at 11:15 this morning at Tower. Let's dash out, Sally. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah, go, go see it. Go, go. go. <laughs> Run, don't walk. Thank Bye. you, Sally. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank you. Oh, beautiful. I love. I love that kind of art. I think it's just classic. It's just beautiful and simple and lovely and all the things that you want in a nice art piece. Yeah, and then when you read about the reviews of uh, Ethan Hawke paired up with Sally Hawkins, I mean, mm -hmm. they really. Uh, apparently complement each other so well on screen. I'm looking forward yeah, to this one. That's neat. It's going to be a good one. All right.